Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful, awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to enter to his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Just to thank him, praise him, and glorify him. Whatever it is that you are going through right now, whatever it is that got you all upset, whatever it is that got you stressed out, whatever it is, they got you thinking about something, but your mind's not focused on Jesus enter into his courts right now with thanksgiving and praise. Because when you enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise, you're not worried about what happened yesterday. You're not worried about what happened last week. You're not worried about what happened last month. You're not worried about how you're going to pay your bills. You're not worried about how God's going to turn around. You're not worried about how God is going to do it. You are doing it because you know that God is already going to do it for you. When you praise with everything, and I ain't talking about praising from your, from your mouth. I'm talking about praising from your heart. And when you praise from your heart, you release everything that you've been going through and facing this week or the last month or how long that you've been going through it. You release all of it. It has no effect on you whatsoever because at this point and at this time, the only thing that's on your mind is Jesus, his words, and his promises. Amen, amen. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, glory, hallelujah, he watches over every last one of us. And if you have not welcomed Jesus into your life, and if you have not allowed him to enter to your home, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I'm encouraging you right now today Please do so. He's waiting right now. He's available right now. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. I thank you, Father God, for everything that you are doing and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, how you're moving and operating behind the scenes. We thank you, Father God, for your words, and we always thank you, Father God, for your promises. We thank you, Father God, because we know that you are always with us, Father God, even though it seems like that you're so far away. Father God, we just thank you, Father God, because you are a way maker, Father God. You are a healer. You are a provider. You are a deliverer, Father God. Glory be to God. Yes, you are. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today that's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. There's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, thanking you, praising you, glorifying you, and magnifying and worshiping your holy name, Father God, because you are awesome, you are mighty, and you are so powerful, God. Yes, you are, Jesus. Today is the day, Father God, that you have made, and we are so glad. I said we are so glad to be part of it and always rejoice in it. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we're nothing without you. But, Father God, that's why we need you right now. We are depending on you right now. We are relying on you right now today, Father God. I'm asking you, Father God, to move like you never moved before, Father God. Touch like you never touched before. Heal like you never healed before, Father God. Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and it should not return by board today, Father God. Oh, Father God, allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join with us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today. Oh, Father God, I'm asking, Father God, to do something like you've never done before. Father God, this is your time that I know that you're about to show up and show out. 
I believe now, I declare, I decree right now today, Father God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be saved today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone, someone is ready to run to you right now today. Someone is tired of hiding. Someone is tired of living in darkness, Father God. They want to know what the light is about. Oh, Father God, you're going to get all the thanks for it, all the praise and glory. Right now, the angels are already rejoicing in heaven right now today, Father God, because it's going down right now. A soul will be saved right now, Father God. And then you get the thanks for it. You get the praise. The kingdom is rejoicing right now. Because there was a lost soul that's been in that's been in darkness. It's been a lost soul that's been lost for so long. It's been a lost soul that's been wandering around this world. But now they want to know what the word is about. They want to know what the name Jesus is all about. Glory be to God. They are hungry for you right now today, Jesus. They are thirsty for you right now today, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, they are. Glory be to God. Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, God, our Father, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter into your home right now, right here in this sanctuary right now, right here on your YouTube channel right now, your platform right now, right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life right now. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to fill us up more with the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus, because we want more of you and less of ourselves. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to touch my brothers, touch my sisters right now. Father God, you know exactly what they're going through. Father God, they're hurting right now. Father God, they're suffering right now. They're going through something right now. So, Father God, I'm just asking you right now today for a favor to speak a word to them right now today. Just whisper in their ear right now today, Father God, tell them that everything's already all right. Just tell them right now today, Father God, that you have already turned it around for them. Just tell them right now today, Father God, that it's already fixed, Father God. Soften their heart right now today, Jesus, before they make a dummy move, Father God. Reveal yourself to them right now today, Father God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now. Right here in this sanctuary right now. Right here on this platform right now. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking to have your way right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now because you are confident right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now to keep us still right now. Keep us still before we make up the wrong move. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Reveal every, anything to us right now today, Holy Spirit, that we might not be aware of, Holy Spirit. Because, Holy Spirit, we don't want to be made of. We don't want to be ashamed of. We don't want to be look like that we're a fool. So I'm just asking, Holy Spirit, just reveal every anything to my brothers and my sisters, even myself right now. Reveal everything that's being hidden in the dark. Bring it to the forefront right now today. Holy Spirit, if you expect us to move on, let us move right now today. But we're asking you to reveal it to us. We're asking you right now today to show it to us. We're asking you right now today to speak to us right now today. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow right now. Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean state. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for the understanding. I just want to say thank you. Father God, words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored and blessed I am to pray, praise, and have fellowship. With all my brothers, all my sisters today, Father God, in your house today, in your sanctuary right now today. Heavenly Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise. We're available for service. We're available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, that we're available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my 
hard at you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I call out your name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Go and hallelujah. Can't thank you enough. When if you're ready for God's word, I said, if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Somebody has been going through something lately. A lot of people have had their name in their mouth, talking bad about you, mocking you, picking you ridiculing you, making fun of you for all wrong reasons. They think that you can't do it without them. And right now it's making you feel a certain way. A lot of people have formed weapons on you. A lot of people just left you thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. But I'm here today to tell somebody right now today because somebody is asking Jesus for a miracle. And that miracle have your name on it right now today, my brothers. That miracle have your name on it right now today, my sisters. And I'm going to tell you why that miracle have your name on it. Because we serve a God that is a way maker. And he spoke this word. He said, wait until the smoke clear. He said, when the smoke clears, when everything is clear, everything is out of the way, that same person, they talk bad about you, they trash your name. They always, your name was in their mouth. He said, wait till the smoke clear. They're going to wish. They talk good about you. That same person that just left you, thinking that they're going to find something better. He said, wait till the smoke clear. They're going to wish that they never left you. That same person that used you, he said, wait till the smoke clear. They're going to wish that they never used you. The same person that doubted you, the same people that was making fun of you, he said, wait until the smoke clear. They're going to wish they never doubted you. They're going to wish they never made fun of you. He said, the same people that mocked you and mocked you and just talked bad about you, just trash your name. He said, wait, glory, hallelujah, until the smoke clears. The same people that did it to you, they're going to wish that they never did it to you. He said, wait until the smoke clears. Because one thing about God, he's already working behind the scenes on your behalf right now today. Even though it seems like that it's not. And he also whispered this word to me right now today too. He said that you are winning right now today, even though you don't even realize it. You are winning right now, even though you don't realize it, even though it don't seem like it, even though it don't even take notice because you are thinking that the person who done you wrong is winning. God said they ain't winning. They losing and they hurting too because right now they don't have time to think about the mistake and what they cause you. He said, right now they're putting on a show for everybody. They're putting on a front for everybody. He said, they're still wearing that raggedy mask that they had on two days ago, thinking nobody can't see between that. But God said, I can't see all between that mask. Because when they get home, when, when they don't have a when they don't have an audience around them no more, their true self come out. Their true identity come out. They don't have nobody to laugh at them no more. They don't have about the, the high five no more. And say, oh, girl, you right. Oh, homeboy, you right. He said, when the smoke clear, they're going to see who I am. He said, when the smoke clear, they're going to wish they never done my son or my daughter wrong. He said, wait until the smoke clear. Because right now, your miracle, or help me this thing, Jesus. He said, your miracle is just around the corner. Your miracle is just a phone call away. Your miracle is just a text message away. Your miracle is just an email away. He said, it's on the way. And he said, watch how they're going to look at you then. He said, watch how they're going to treat you then. When I come through, go God said, he's going to come through. He's going to come through. And right now, he's going to silence the mouth of all the haters. He's going to silence the mouth of all the doubters. He's going to silence the mouth to everybody who lied on you, who cheated on you, who used you, who took advantage of you, who made fun of you, who, made, who formed a weapon on you, who thought the grass was green on the other side. He said, watch how I silence them. 
He said, watch our silence. He said, I'm putting the pieces to the puzzle all together right now. Your job right now today, my sisters, your job right now today, my brothers, is to trust him because he is doing just that. Because he don't heard you cry. And he knows your heart. And he knows that you hurt him. He knows that you hurt him right now because you were never dead to them what they did to you. That's why he is working on your case right now. The word of God tells us in Isaiah 41 verse 17, present your case to Jesus. He didn't say cases, they present your case. I mean, you got one story and you stick to that story because Jesus is the judge and he's the lawyer. Your job is to sit right there and thank him and praise him and glorify him until everything come through. Because right now, it's coming through right now. He's about to clean house. He's about to show up and he's about to show out on your behalf right now today. Somebody need to give some praise right now because it's a miracle coming right now. Somebody need to give some praise right now because he's going to make a way out of no way. Someone should give him some praise right now because he is a way maker. I say Jesus is a way maker and he is making a way especially just for you. You better believe it. Can you please turn your Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 1 and we're going to read verses 9 through 20. That's 1 Samuel chapter 1 and we're going to read verses 9 through 20. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Once when they had finished eating and drinking, and Shalom and Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the Lord's temple in bitterness of his soul. Hannah wept much and prayed to the Lord, and she made a vow saying, O oh Lord, I'm almighty. If you will only look upon your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her a son, that will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life. And no razor will ever be used on his head. Right now, Hannah is pleading to the Lord right now. She said, God, if you can just bless me with this miracle, if you can just come through just to silence the haters, silence the doubters, silence people who always make sure that my name stays in their mouth talking bad about me, left me all alone, Use me, abuse me. Hannah is pleading with the Lord right now. She said, I just need one favor from you right now today, Jesus. Somebody need to ask Jesus for a favor right now today. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today, but somebody need to ask Jesus for a favor right now today. And that favor should be, Jesus, help me. Help me with this right here. I just need a miracle from you right now today. I just need a touch from you right now today. I just need you to do something like you've never done before right now today. And that's what your favor should be right now. That way Hannah is pleading about a favor from Jesus. She's asked for a favor, one favor. Right now, somebody should have one favor right now to ask Jesus right now. To silence the crowd. To silence your haters. To silence your doubters. To silence the people who thought the grass was green on the other side. To silence the people who used you and abused you when you was nothing but good to them. They can call you when they need something. But spit on your name, drag your name, and be king and queen to somebody who don't care nothing about them. Who didn't even love them. Treat them like royalty, but treat you, treated you like trash. But treated you like trash. One favor. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. Not so, my Lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, go in peace 
and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked him. She said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and ate something. And her face was no longer downcast. Early the next morning, they arose and worshiped before the Lord. And then went back to their home at Ramah. Elkanah lay with Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. So in the course of time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel saying, because I have asked the Lord for him. I believe and I declare right now today, the Lord's going to remember your prayer right now today. I believe and I declare right now today that the Lord is going to remember your favor, which you ask him for. I believe and I declare right now today that the Lord is going to remember how you was praying to him from your heart and not your mouth. I declare and I decree right now today the Lord is going to come to you right now because he is a way maker. He is a way maker. He's going to give you peace right now. The same way that God did it for Hannah, God is going to do it for you. And he is telling you right now today, wait until the smoke clear. They're going to wish they didn't do you the way they did you. They're going to wish they betrayed you. They're going to wish they never used you, took advantage of you. They're going to wish they chose you and not the losers. They're going to wish they never did you wrong. They're going to wish they never threw their blessing away. When God came through for Hannah, but now was out of sight, out of mind, her mouth had hit the ground. Because why? Hannah, Hannah prayed to God. And she asked God for that favor to silence the haters. Watch how God's going to silence every hater. Watch how God's going to silence every doubter. Watch how God's going to silence everyone that threw stones at you, but you never threw the stone back. Watch how God's going to silence everyone who thought the grass was green on the other side. Watch how God's going to silence the one who left you. Think that he's going to find something better. Watch how God's going to silence the one who formed the weapon on you. Because why? Jesus is a way maker. I don't know who this word is for today. I don't know who this message is for today. But if you know that Jesus is talking to you, you're expecting Jesus to do this day, ask Jesus for that one favor right now. Pray to him right now today from your heart, not your mouth. And continue to pray. Because I can tell you one thing right now today, my brothers and sisters, you're winning right now. And you don't even realize it. You're winning right now. You don't even realize it. And if you know that this word is for you, and you like what you heard, go and hit Jesus like button. Hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is rivers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him, always honor him, always praise him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happen. Continue to hold on to his unchanged by hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm serving minutes to help you. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory, hallelujah. Amen.